Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles Flash Captain Cold. A really cool character from the Flash TV show, certainly along with Arrow, some of my favourite programs at the moment that I like to watch. Really happy that we finally got a figure of this guy, it has been some time, obviously uh, he's now going to play a bigger role, hopefully in uh, Season 2 of The Flash and also the new um, Heroes of Tomorrow, Legends of Tomorrow show that's coming out as well. Awesome looking figure. I didn't think it would look as cool as it does. It comes in the standard DC Collectibles sleek style packaging, which I'm a big fan of. Other than that, though, there's not much else in terms of the box. Nice shot of Captain Cold on the side there. I think uh, that's an actual shot of the character from the show because it looks a lot better than the face on the figure. But really cool, really excited to get this guy opened up out of packaging and hopefully give you guys a cool review. And taking a look at the back, the other figures in the set, of course, we've got the Flash. Really cool figure, probably my favorite design of the Flash ever. I love the suit. It's like a, a retro type suit. Check out my review on that figure. I'm really looking forward to, though, the negative Flash Professor Zoom when we finally get that figure. I'm hoping it's going to be really cool. The prototype shots that they've released so far make it look awesome. So let's get this guy opened up. Okay, and here we have Captain Cold opened up and out of packaging. Honestly, a really cool looking figure. Uh, so a bit of backstory on me, I suppose. The first time I ever saw Captain Cold was uh, in the Justice League TV show. Obviously, I was a, a young kid at the time. And I thought that it was a really, really crappy Mr. Freeze. Uh, since then, I've learned that obviously uh, it's a completely different character. Loving this guy in the Flash show. I think he's a really different character, certainly a more cerebral, intelligent villain. I'm loving the crossover episodes between Arrow and Flash, and that's really the main reason I started watching The Flash, was to see the uh, the link-ins with Arrow. I'll bring forward so you guys can take a look at the figure. I think they did a really good job with the face. Now, uh, it is really hard, obviously, to see the figure because of the Captain Cold jacket. You can, however, bring the hoodie back, and that reveals uh, a much more detailed look at his face. I mean, it's not too bad. I, I think it's actually pretty decent. So, uh, moving down, obviously, throughout the figure, there's lots of nice detail on this guy. I think DC Collectibles lately with their figures have been doing a really awesome job. I think they've really improved, especially uh, where they were maybe three, four years ago. The level of detail, paint apps and everything, and pricing. Uh, I picked this guy up for around $40, which isn't too bad considering it's about the same for the Marvel Select figures, which, at least to me personally, feel a little bit cheaper. But yeah, really nice, nice detail on the, the snow jacket there. Nice detail, obviously, on whether it be his uh, equipment belt, the pants, etc. Now, we are getting a few more Flash figures coming soon towards the end of the year, along with some figures from Gotham, more Arkham Knight ones, and the usual array of DC collectibles, which is, is good to see. Now, in terms of articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, Ball jointed arms, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, nothing in the waist, which is really disappointing considering that the fact that they've got the belt here, they could have just added a swivel and it would have been okay. Uh, he's also got ball jointed legs, swivel in the thigh, double bend at the knee, and then uh, swivel in the ankle, and then a ball joint in the actual heel. So quite a extensive range of articulation, which is good. Very happy. Now, in terms of accessories, he does come with his trademark cold gun, which actually looks awesome. Uh, it reminds me something out of Gears of War, to be honest. It's a little bit oversized, a little bit ridiculous, but it works, uh, and I think it's pretty cool. Lots of nice detail and paint apps on there. Awesome. So overall, a really awesome figure. The other accessories he comes with, uh, just alternative hands, which you can obviously use to have him hold the, the freeze cannon there. A really cool figure. If you guys are a fan of the Flash TV show or a fan of Arrow, I think no question this guy's a must-have. He's also a really cool DC character. It's great that we finally got uh, a TV show representation of him. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review on the DC Collectibles Flash Captain Cold.